Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. A couple of things to keep in mind about an electrical panel. You can tell the service size usually um, because it's printed right here on your main disconnect. Even on the oldest ones I've seen, it's usually printed there, although sometimes they can be pretty hard to see. This one is basically brand new, so it's easy. It's a 200 amp main disconnect. A couple of the other things you can often find in a panel. Builders will usually put a sticker in here saying what lot number it is, when construction was done, and then you also have your final code approval in here, which gives you a pretty good idea of when the house was completed and ready for final occupancy. So it basically tells you when your house was built. Other than that, things you should know about the panel. Basically, this is where you go to check circuit breakers if anything trips or your power goes out in your house. It's also where you go to check if maybe power goes out in the entire house. Most of the time in modern construction, when we see them like this, they're pretty full. There's not usually a lot of space for adding additional circuits. And in fact, in here, they've even used what are called half-height breakers to kind of squeeze two circuits into a spot where there would normally be one circuit breaker. And there's nothing wrong with that. The panel's rated for it. It's just we use so much more electricity than what we used to that a modern panel is going to be packed pretty tight with circuits. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.